In this video, we're going to review some differences between Valent Private Practice Suite and Valent I.O. We'll log into both interfaces to highlight updates to the look and feel of the system and familiarize you with navigation in Valent I.O. But first, I want to ease any concerns you might have about learning a whole new system. You do not need to relearn our software to get started using Valent I.O. There are some subtle differences and we'll get started reviewing those here together today, but if you're already familiar with using Valent, transitioning to Valent I.O. should be a very smooth experience for you and your practice. So let's get started. First, you can see I have two windows open to the Valent homepage, Valent I.O. On the left hand side, I have my Internet Explorer browser window open and we'll use this screen to log into Private Practice Suite. You're probably used to opening either Internet Explorer or a special version of Mozilla Firefox called ESR to log into Valent. On the right, I have my Google Chrome browser open and we'll use this screen to log into Valent I.O. You can use either Chrome or the latest version of Mozilla Firefox to log into I.O. Both browsers are fully compatible with Macs and PC computers. Please note that Internet Explorer and Firefox ESR version are not supported browsers for Valent I.O. To log into Private Practice Suite, we go to Sign In, Valent Private Practice Suite Sign In. I'm just going to log in with a Sandbox account here. In my other window, we log in to Valent I.O. by going to Sign In, Valent I.O. Sign In. Note that your user ID and password for Valent I.O. is the same as what you're already using for Private Practice Suite. You don't need a new username and password for I.O. Now you see we have the dashboard open for both versions of Valent side by side. There are a few differences when it comes to navigating the EMR that I want to make note of. In Private Practice Suite, as we navigate through the system, we're opening embedded tabs within one browser tab. You see, if I click on today's appointments, I now have the scheduler tab open within the EMR, but I still have just one tab open in my browser. In Valent I.O., we're going to now utilize the full functionality of the browser by opening new pages in their own browser tabs. So now when I click on today's appointments on the dashboard, it opens a new tab in the browser for the scheduler itself. So rather than having just one browser tab with sub tabs embedded within it, we're going to have multiple browser tabs open at a time. In Valent I.O., we can also choose to open any link in a new tab or a new window by right clicking or control clicking on that link and then selecting open link in new tab or window. For example, if I want to open my patient list in a new tab, I can right click or control click and you can see I have the option here to open that link in a new tab or a new window. By opening sections of I.O. in a new tab, we can now easily view multiple different places in the EMR at one time by clicking and dragging the tabs around on the screen. Say I want to view my patient list over here. I simply clicked and dragged that tab. You can see now it's open in a new window. So now I have my patient list and my calendar open side by side. Also in Valent I.O., we can now use the refresh and back options in the browser, which we weren't able to use in Private Practice Suite as it would log us out of the system. Please note that when you have multiple tabs open in Valent I.O., updates you make in one tab will not automatically be reflected in the other tabs until those tabs are refreshed. So make use of that refresh option uh, within the browser. You can also see refresh on, on the left-hand menu as you're used to. Now, throughout the, easy nat or throughout the EMR, we've updated the functionality of the blue patient IDs that you see throughout the system. You'll now left click patient IDs to access the EasyNav menu. Previously uh, in Private Practice Suite, you would right click to access the EasyNav menu. We've made that a little easier. Now you simply click on that patient ID to open the EasyNav menu. Also, you'll find on most screens that contain patient data, 
for example, the patient screen, we've pinned the EasyNav menu to the upper right-hand corner for easy access, so you don't have to go hunt for it. Now, there are a couple minor changes we've made to the dashboard that I want to make note of here. You'll now see the name of the practice in the top center of the page, the name of the user who is logged in in the upper right, and when we click on the username, so I'm logged in as Daniel Doctor here right now in my sandbox. When I click on my name, you can see this is where we have the options to log off or change our password. So we've moved those to the upper right hand corner. We've also added some color coding to action items here to highlight the severity of their impact to clinical workflows, business workflows. Um, and then you can see other items that might not require immediate attention, don't, don't have that color coding on them. We've also moved the button to access the billing dashboard. Instead of at the bottom of the screen, it is now in the upper right. So we can click on this to open up that billing dashboard. I hope this video has helped orient you to some of the differences you'll find when using Vela I.O., including supported browsers, navigation, and updates to the dashboard. Have a nice day.